Shalom. Greetings to you all, beloved in Christ. I hope you are well by the grace of God. Yes, it's a new day. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. Praise on the joy you do well to share for me. Yes, I have some message. I have a message to deliver. And also a message for the body of Christ. So as soon as you join, you do well to share and invite somebody for me. When you join, as soon as you join, do well to share and invite a brother, invite a sister, sister Edith. You are welcome. How are you doing? Oh, God bless you. I can see Francisca. You are welcome. Helen, you are welcome. Woman of God, God bless you all. I want to use this opportunity to thank you all that wished me well on my birthday. God really bless you. God really bless you. Please share the broadcast for me. Those in the WhatsApp group, you can help me share to our WhatsApp platforms for me, please. Yes, share on our WhatsApp platforms for me. Share for me, please. As soon as you join, you do well to share for me. Yes, only God, only God, only God. The word of God says it is only a fool who says in his heart there is no God. It is only a fool who says in his heart there is no God. I have a message to deliver just now before I, I go straight to the message. Before I go straight to the message, shall we pray? We thank you, Almighty Father. We bless your name. We lift your name on high. Father, we thank you for the grace to see a new day like this. Father, we have come once again to deliver your message. I pray you touch heart. I pray you use me as a vessel to speak to your people. Father, let me speak of your counsel. Father, anybody that this message may help or reach them. Father, I pray you are the life transformer. Only you can transform lives. Father, we are just a messenger. Father, I pray you transform the life of your people. Father, your word say your sheep hears your voice. Anybody that belongs to you, Lord, wherever they are, I pray you connect them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep sharing the broadcast for me. Keep sharing the broadcast for me. Keep sharing the broadcast for me, please. Keep sharing the broadcast for me. Yes, keep sharing the broadcast. Eva, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, Roma, Romona, God bless you. Mary, I have seen you. God bless you. Francisca, I have seen you. Lindy, God bless you. God bless you all that have joined me. Sister Edith, all the way from United States. God bless you. God bless you all. Please, as soon as you join, you do well to share the broadcast for me. Share on our timeline. Share share on your timeline and also share in our WhatsApp group for me. If you are in any of our WhatsApp group, you do well to share for me. Yes, I will start, I will start by what the Lord revealed to me concerning Abraham ben Moshe. Abraham, there is a danger ahead of you. If you hear my voice, I know you are my enemy. You are enemy to me. Don't want to even to see my face. But this is what I saw about you. This is what I saw about you. Dennis, all the way from Jamaica, God bless you. God bless you. Obina Bright, God bless you. Good morning to you also. Oh, Masila, God bless you. God bless you all. Please, as soon as you join, you do well to share. You do well to share. I want to deliver this message to two people. One is Prophetess Rosina. Prophetess Rosina, uh, Prophetess Rose. I always mention the name in a wrong way. Prophetess Rose. I don't know you physically. I don't know you personally, but you are a very young person, very young woman, very young woman. The Lord is sending a warning to you, prophetess Rose. I don't know who that rose is, but that message has repeated itself two times. The Lord is saying, if you do not repent, he's going to strike you. 
prophetess rose, the Lord God Almighty, the God of Abraham, the, the creator of heaven and earth, the Lord is saying, I should send a warning to you that if you don't stop and repent, he is going to strike you. If you do not repent, he is going to strike you. The message has come twice. The first message, you were faking a miracle. You were faking a miracle. A lady came. You know how the first one started? The first revelation that I, the Lord gave me this message that he's going to strike you. We were in a pastor's conference. Many men of God were then. So a lady came with problem with her sight. She said she can't see clearly. She had dimness in her, her eyes. So when she saw that the men of God have gathered, that lady came. That lady came that the man of God should lay hands on her. But when she came, immediately she came, I saw this prophetess. You were a lady, a young lady, a little bit fair. You are beautiful. She came with a mantle on her, around her neck. I saw her, she picked a dust, something like a sand on the ground, mixed it with water. And she just came and touched it. I applied it on the eye of this lady that was ha having this dimness in her sight. And immediately the, the lady couldn't see again. She turned totally blind. She turned totally blind. And there was a man standing beside. And she made, the man mentioned your name and said, Until when are you going to continue this mess that you are causing in the life of people? Your name is Prophetess Rose. Your name is Prophetess Rose. And the man added, the man added that I am going to strike you if you don't repent. I am going to strike you if you don't repent. And I was on my bed again. The same voice came that go and warn her. Tell that Prophetess Rose, I don't know who you are. I don't know you personally. I don't know who that prophetess Rose is. But the Lord is saying, if you do not change, because you are using the spirit of divination to deceive God's children, you are faking miracles just to deceive people. The Lord is saying, if you don't repent, he himself is going to strike you. That is the message from God. The Lord is saying, I am going to strike you if you don't repent. If you don't repent. You are using spirit of divination. You are not using a pure spirit. You are deceiving God's children. You are deceiving the chosen ones with fake miracles. You are taking soul to the dark world. And the Lord is saying, if you do not repent, I, the Lord, I'm going to strike you. He said, I'm going to strike you. If you don't repent, I will strike you. And the, the whole world will know. Everybody will know that I, the Lord, I have stricken you. That is the word of God to you. If you have ears, listen. Because there is danger. There is danger. There is danger. There is danger. Many of the women of God, that God chose you as a mouthpiece that you people have backslided because of money, because of fame. You people have backslided. You people have turned your back to your creator and you are following all kinds of these charlatans. You have let the charlatans deceive you. God chose you, but you are being deceived. Your name is Prophetess Rose. That is the name I heard. The message has come twice. Twice. If you have ears, please listen and amend your ways before it is too late. If you have ears, listen and change your deeds before it is too late. Before it is too late. God is warning you. God is warning you. You can never be lukewarm. You can't claim you are of God. Why your one foot is where you belongs to the devil. You can't claim you are of God. Why you don't even know him. Why you yourself, your life, your days, you don't even believe in him. You can't claim you stand on the you sit on the seat of the ancient prophet while your days are in darkness. You can't. He said, repent. Else I, the Lord, I am going to strike you.
Second thing that I saw about Avram Ben Moshe. Avram, there is danger ahead of you. If you listen to me, there is danger ahead of you. Avram, all the way from Ghana. Ghana, there is danger ahead of you. Let me just explain how I saw it. I found myself, the Lord took my spirit. I found myself in a very big seashore. A seashore that is surrounded with many coconuts. Many coconuts. And I saw you, Avram, with a lot of young men. Young men and young women. You were speaking to them. You were speaking to them. And you know, many of these young people, they are the yo, 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 yo people. You know, when I say the yo, yo, yo people, the radicals, the smokers, those people that are always finding somebody to lead them to mess in the city or in the town. These were the people that you were speaking to. I did not actually hear the word that you were speaking to them because I stood afar and I was watching you. I was watching you while you were speaking to these yo 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 people. Those smokers, drunkards, those people that doesn't even want to hear the name of God. These were the people that I saw you. You were speaking to them, Avram Ben Moshe. So as I stood and I watched, I saw a man on top of one of the coconut tree. One of the coconut tree that you were standing and the busy speaking to the people. The coconut tree that you were standing under, busy speaking to the people, there was a man on top of that coconut tree with a hook, a hook, a hook that they used to pull fish from the river or from the sea. In Ghana, like we call it drawa, a drawa, a crap, a a hook was in the hand of this man. And this man, have led, he has hung the hook on top of a very long rope. So he was drawing down, down, down. He was bringing it where you were standing. Where you were busy standing. And all of a sudden, I saw the hook grab your mouth. Yes. The hook, it just grabbed the two of your mouth like this. And as soon as the hook grabbed your mouth, the man came down from the coconut tree. When he came down from the coconut tree, I saw him pull something like a chain from your neck. He just tear it. Or she be before come like something like a, 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 a necklace. A necklace that was on your neck. He just pull it. As soon as he pull it, he drag you. He drag you. You were following him on the ground. This man was dragging you on the ground. On a very long rope. He was dragging you. And the most saddest thing is that, Avram, I want to speak to you. You know, the most saddest thing is that all the people, that none of them came to your rescue. Oh, I swear to you, if you have ears, listen to what I am saying to you. And when this man was dragging you, the way that this man was saying is that I gave you power. I made you who you are. I made you who you are. I brought you to where you are today. And you are looking down upon me. That was the word that the man was saying. He said, I made you who you are. I made you who you are. I brought you from where to where you are now. I made you. As the man was dragging you on the ground. All three were for me. And I know what can say. We say, me and mama were yet who you are. I made you who you are. Now you have turned your back at me. He was dragging you. And I saw all this. Yo, yo, yo people. That were applauding you. Yo, yo, yo people. That were saying, oh, wow, wow, wow. Continue, continue, continue. These people, none of them came to your rescue, Abraham. None of them came to rescue you. Let me come and assist you to even pull that hook. Because in the realms of the sport, there is a hook. Drawa yatu asid yatu yatu a fish drawa no na asona no no. That is how I saw you, Avram. I don't hit you. I only hit you because you blaspheme God. I hate you because you blaspheme God. Because you don't know what you are doing. You have eyes. God has been revealing himself to you. Abraham, listen to me. God has been revealing himself to you several occasions. But because of one, fame. Because of money. 
two things. What you are doing, it is because of two things. Not that God has not been revealing himself to you, Abraham. God has been speaking to you. God has been revealing himself to you in several occasions. Yes. Yes. But you think, when you stop blaspheming the name of God, all your followers will, will go back or they will leave you. Or you will not get money. Or you will not get a fame again. No, Abraham. Come back to your creator. Avram, the danger ahead of you, no human being came to your aid. What I saw about you, nobody, the people that were there with you, none of them even made an attempt of rescuing you. The man was dragging you, dragging you afar on a very long rope. You were struggling to pull the hook out of your mouth, but you couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't pull, pull the hook out of your mouth you could not pull the hook out of your mouth the danger ahead of you it should speak to you it should warn you it should bring you back it should let you realize that in life there is power that is above all powers there is god if you don't believe in god i want to tell you there is god and you yourself, God has been revealing himself to you. Just that you are disobedient. You get the whole world. One day you go. If it is because of fame. Think about Michael Jackson. He did not go with his fame. Think about many, many great prophets. That had many congregations. They are gone. Even this morning. Think about Ghana. There were many worthy men. They are gone. They are gone. It is appointed for a man to die once. After death, there is judgment. It is appointed for you to die once. After death, there is judgment. Prepare for eternity. Do not joke with your life. Do not joke with your life. That is the message to you. Another thing the Lord revealed to me about many people. Many people, a church, a very big church, but many of the ladies, some of them, even their dresses, couldn't read their meal. Many church, many church that I found myself, how they are dressed, even the prostitute, they dress well. They dress well, both men and women, in, in, in a dress, in decent dress. The men, some of the men were dressed, exposing even their manhood in front of their trousers. You can see the shape and the size of their manhood in their trousers. In a church that I found myself. And the Lord is saying, you know all these people, when, we, when I talk to you about lukewarm, lukewarm people, these are the lukewarm people, I, I, I always warn you to warn them. These are the lukewarm people. People that think they can go to church. They can be of Christ and also love the world. It is error. It is error. If you think you can still be in Christ and still love the world as a child of God, it is wrong. It is wrong. You have to deny yourself if you want to be for Christ. Deny yourself. If you want to carry the cross, deny yourself. Deny yourself. Choose to be, choose to live for Jesus. Choose to live for Christ. Do not live for the world. Do not live for the devil. Do not be deceived. Because the devil is deceiving many people. The devil is deceiving many, many people. Do not be deceived. If you are a child of God, First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, it said, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. You are a chosen, God have chosen you from your father's house. God have chosen you from your mother's family. God have chosen you from your community. God have chosen you. You are a chosen generation. Stand. Stand. Do not mingle with this world. The world is full of things. This world, it is polluted. The world is polluted. 
And the world has started driving many people. Sometimes when God opened my eye, you see a group of people that is being taken away by the sea. A group of people swimming in the sea. Some of them are drowning. Some of them are struggling in the sea. The sea represents the world. First Peter 2.9 The sea represents the world. Many, many have been deceived by the world and the things in it. Many have been deceived by the world and the things in it. Please share the broadcast for me. Share the broadcast for me. Many have been deceived. Many have been deceived. He said, by you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show. Show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his miraculous light. You are no longer a child of darkness. You are no longer a child of the world. So walk according to the light. Walk in light. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The word of God said in Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, it said you are the salt of the world. When you lose this, your taste, we can't do anything with you unless you throw you down for people to throw in on you. You are the salt of the world. Where is your taste? Where is your savour? Where is the light? A child of God in politics, corruption you support. A child of God in the corporate world, you support corruption. Shine. When you go into politics as a child of God, you, have, you must to shine. You do not to support corruption. Corruption. In your working place, you support. Where is the light? Where is the light? Many of you, when you go, you can't even say, I'm a Muslim. You can't even say, I'm a Christian because of what you are doing. You can't even say who you are. You can't even exhibit. You can't even prove for people to know, I'm a Christian because of what you are doing. The light. The light cannot shine again because of wickedness. Your light cannot shine again. Your light is not shining. You are the light of the world. A city builded on a mountain can never be hidden. You are a chosen generation. You are not of darkness. Run away from the deeds of darkness. Run away. A child of God. You are the one that have been supporting people to do abortion in hospitals. God have given you that platform to go and shine there. You are the one supporting to kill innocent people. God have given you, taking you to that place to go and shine there. In politics, you are the one sacrificing people to get power. You've forgotten your God. You have forgotten your God. You have forgotten your God. It is God that pushed you, that made a way for you to get a husband that you have gotten now. It is God that blessed you with that man. Now you are Jezebel. Now you don't want anybody to come close that man. When before you enter into the life of that man, that man was a giver. That man was a kingdom financer. But any time he go and donate, you come and fight him in the house. God will strike you. You are the light. You are the light. You are the light. You are on this earth for a reason, for a purpose, for a purpose. Wherever God takes you, he takes you to that place for a reason. To go and be, to go and liberate people there, to go and set people free, not to go and put burden on the life of people. To go and liberate and set the captive free. Put a smile on the face of the less privileged. Put a smile on the face of people in bondage. Set them free. Go and stand in the gap for the widows. Stand in the gap for people without a voice. Stand in the gap for people that, 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 that don't have the voice. Many of you, God gives you platform to use to fight for these people. You are the rather, you are the people rather supporting them to inflate them, to humiliate, to silence them all. Judgment is real. Oh. It is appointed for a man to die once. After death, there is judgment. 
It is appointed for a man to die once. After death, there is judgment. As I'm speaking to you, there are many people they have regretted. They have regretted. Now it is too late. They are already in the grave. It is too late. There are many people when they came, when they were once alive, when they were once alive, they all the time made people cry. Now they are there suffering. They are there suffering. I want to use this opportunity to speak to many women. Your husband is sacrificing somebody's daughter for ritual. Your husband is sacrificing somebody's wife for ritual. Your husband is sacrificing somebody's father for money ritual and you are enjoying the money. You are busy smiling and somebody is crying. Judgment is waiting for you. You can't escape. Don't think you are not the one that did it. You enjoy the money. Don't think you were not the one that has been helping people to kill. Let me speak to many pastors' wife, fake pastors, charlatans' wife, charlatans. You know what your husband is doing. You know, you know what your husband is doing. You know your husband claim himself to be a man of God that is sleeping around with many women. You know, you know. God has made you a watchman in the life of that man. To speak to him. To speak to him. If you are not able to rebuke your husband. If you are not able to correct your husband. And your husband dies in his sin. God is going to request his blood from you. Let me tell you. Don't think you are not the one that God called. Many of you. Oh, it is my husband that God has called. The Bible said the two shall be one. So if your husband is a murderer, you are a murderer. If your husband is a killer, you are a killer. If your husband is a daylight robber, robber, now daylight robbery in church, daylight, oh, daylight robbery in church, in church, in church, daylight robbery. You know what your, your husband is doing. You know, you know, you know, and you are going to account for it. There is an accountability. There is an accountability. Isaiah 35 verse 8 to 10. Isaiah 35 verse 8 to 10. Share the broadcast for me. I'll finish very soon. Tonight we have prayers. Tonight we have prayers on Zoom and YouTube. Zoom and YouTube. I'll paste, I'll paste it. I'll paste um, the ID and the link on our page. Isaiah 35 verse 8 to 10 it says, and a highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness the way of holiness a way shall be there and that way is called a way of holiness anybody that is not able to walk on the way of holiness that is the deeds of the Holy Spirit that is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit you can never make it <laughs> The verse number nine says, no lion shall be there. Mm -mm. Lion, that devour people. Fresh. Lion. No lion shall be there. Nor any ravenous beast shall go there off. No lion. Two different character. Two different attitude. No lion. No a ravenous beast. Black and white human being. Black and white. When I talk about black and white. You do good here and you do evil at the back. You secretly killing people and publicly you are you, you you it's like you are helping people. Publicly, it's like you are donating to people. Physically, people see that you are the most donor, the number one donor. But you know you've been sacrificing other human beings. The money that you are enjoying is people's blood. You know it. Repent all. Oh. Repent. You know the money that your husband is enjoying is broad money. Broad the beast. You and your husband. You are a sucker of human blood. The money you are eating is broad money. Repent. 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 Because the word of God say, Whosoever shed the blood of a human or a brother, his blood shall be taken in praise. Yes. Yes, Sarah, share it on our WhatsApp group for me. 
Yes. Mommy Ernestina shared to the global platform for me. Repentance is all you need, though. You do not need anything at this end time. You don't need anything. Anything. A time will come, your money in your account, you can't even use it. A time will come, people are going to use chips. People are going to use gadgets on their body to buy. What is the essence of the money that you are struggling to pile? If you don't take this mark, if you don't take the mark, you can't buy. Mm -mm. It doesn't matter your money. You cannot buy. Prepare yourself or give your life to Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and come to him. Repent and give your life to him. Because tomorrow will be too late. Now people, you know, we see all the things happening. Nobody is even talking about it. This vaccine issue, nobody is talking about it. Ghana, it is happening. People are, you know, people, somebody just put a light. You people are saying it is magnet. It is magician. It is so so so. Human body, what is there that can that can light a bulb? What is there that can even grab a, a, a metal? This should speak to you. Let this speak to you that the days and the time that we are in is dangerous. That you need to give your life to Jesus. That you need to draw closer to him. You need to let the holy ghost, the holy ghost fill you at this end time. This is not the time to be sleeping around with men in hotels. No. This is not the time for you to be flirting with women in hotels. No. This is not the time. This is the time that you have to seek your creator. This is the hour that you have to work on your salvation with fear and trembling. Work on your salvation with fear and trembling. Seek things that are in heaven, not things that are on earth. Seek things in heaven, not things on earth. This is not the time for you to rob and get a mansion. No. If God blesses you and you can build, no problem. This is not the time for you to steal the nation's money and pack it in abroad. This is not the time. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The hour that we are in, you must understand what is happening. You must understand what is ahead of us. You must only prepare. Prepare. The word of God says when you get what you eat, what to wear, and where you lay your hair, let it be enough for you. Let it be enough for you. When you wake up and you have the strength, you have the breath in you, let it be enough for you. Do not go and sleep in a casket because you need power. Those that are chosen are dead because you want to be a man of God, because you want to be called professor so and so, because you want to join the charlatans, robbers, daylight robbers, and robbers in the body of Christ, and robbers in the church. When I was young, let me tell you something. Many of you that are interested in miracle, miracle, miracle. Many of these miracle doers, miracle doers, many of them are what those days you call the magicians. Many of them are those days that, that used to organize this uh, acro acrobatic, if that is the right pronunciation. I will talk to you, you know, those days when we were young, every Friday, they said acrobatic display, acrobatic display. When they come, they can cut the head of human being. After three days, they will fix the head back. If you want miracle. Now all these people are with clericals, with Bible in hand, deceiving you as a child of God. There was a fetish priest, and that fetish priest, I tell you, he was so he can do, he can perform miracles. That fetish priest, he can perform miracles. When we talk about miracles, that fetish priest, as you are seated here, you see him beside you. The next moment you see him on, on top of the roof. Miracle! And this is what they are using to deceive many people. This is what they are using to deceive many people because the devil is so creative and he, he has gotten to know that many people don't want salvation messages. 
I don't know that prophetess rose, but that is the name I keep hearing. Prophetess rose, prophetess rose. I don't know which rose is that. I don't know. Two times, two times the message have come that I should tell her is going to strike her if she doesn't repent. Prophetess Rose, that is the name I hear. That is the only name I hear. Prophetess Rose, a very young, she's young. As I saw her in the, in the vision, she's young. A little bit fair, young, very beautiful. She's not, she's not old or she's not matured, no. Around her uh, uh, 30s to early, uh, like 30s to early 40s. She's not old, she's not old. Very young, very young. The Lord is saying he's going to strike her if she doesn't repent. If she doesn't repent, I have, I have delivered it. I don't know who is that, but you can share. Whoever that message concerns you, know when a message concerns you, as soon as you hear it, it enters your heart. When you are the one that God is speaking, when you hear it, it will just go straight to your heart. Yes. You know her? Me, I don't know her. You know, I don't know many of the prophetess. I don't know them. I don't know them. If I know her physically, like I will be able to know which of the rules, but I don't know her physically. I don't know her physically. I will never lie. For me, lying, I will never add lying to my job. I don't have time to lie. I don't have time to lie. Yes. The devil has seen many people love miracles. So they are using miracles to deceive you. Yesterday I was saying to somebody, those days when we were in Ghana, I thought that when I die, I, I, will, I will inherit the kingdom of God. But I never knew that all these days, all this time that I was wasting in the church, following pastors to establish so many branches, be reading Bible for pastors to preach, I never knew I didn't have the relationship with the Holy Spirit. I was an ordinary church goer. I go to church, by the time you cross on the way coming, we are gossiping about people's shoes. We are gossiping about people's dress. We are gossiping about how people dress to the church. We don't go there to even see salvation. We do not have that connection with God. This is what many of you are still in. You go to church and come home empty. Know the word of God. You don't have the word of God in you. The word of God is your weapon. It is your weapon. The word of God is your weapon to direct you, to teach you the ways of God, to draw you closer to God, to connect you. You can never get closer to God through items, through water, through miracle water, through staker. You will only get closer to God through his word. When you study the word, then you get closer to him. So run away from churches that you will not get the word. Don't spend your time in churches, wasting your time in churches that you go on only dance, 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 dance and come home empty-headed. Empty head. Go to churches that they will teach you the ways of God. Go to churches that they will teach you the ways of God. Go to churches that they will take you through the scripture. It says, come as you are. When you come, the next thing is baptism. Many of you, you are in churches. You claim you are waiting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are not baptized. You are not baptized. You go to church every day. No baptism. Come as you are. When you come as you are, the next thing is for them to emerge you in water. To soak you in water, baptize you in water. After baptism, the next thing is for them to teach you the word of God, to impart, to, to plant the word of God in you, not to plant staker, not to plant miracle water, not to plant anything, to plant the word of God in you. Go to churches that they will teach you the ways of God. Don't go for miracle. Miracle, uh, the, the, you know, the, the only miracle you need, the only miracle you need is for you a sinner to come to Jesus Christ. Because when you are with the Holy Spirit, sickness will not come. That deadly disease that is attacking people, it, it can't just attack you. Maybe when you are sick, maybe it is headache out of uh, tiredness or you'll be overstressed and you need to relax deadly sickness will not come because the word of god said Deuteronomy chapter 7 it said if you hearken to me 
I will not send to you the diseases. The diseases of Egypt. I will never let it come closer to you. I will never let it come closer to you. If you hearken to my voice, so these diseases will come because you disobey the voice of God. I quite remember those days from Ghana when health insurance was free. I went and did it. It expired. I didn't take it to hospital. I went and renew it. It expired. I didn't take it to hospital. I don't go to hospital. When we talk about grace, grace is not about money. Mm -mm. When you talk about blessing, long life, strength. When you are strong, it's a blessing. When you have peace in your body, it's a blessing. Blessing is no money. Blessing is no money. It's not only money. It's not only getting babies. Blessings is when you have the strength of God. When you have the strength. Because you can get money, that money cannot even heal you. I keep telling you, many of your papas, they are on drugs. Many of your papas, your spiritualists, that are giving you water, giving you uh, anointed oil, giving you stickers, giving you banners, they are on drugs. They take their medicine. They take their medicine and they come and introduce that stickers to you. They are on drugs. They have their doctors. They have their specialists. Come closer to God. Have relationship with the Holy Spirit. That is the only thing you need. That is the only thing. Throw away all these things that you've taken. You've gone for it. You know, many of these charlatans, they are after me because I'm collapsing their business. And their business, I will continue to collapse it. They like robbers. Robbers. I'm robbers in the church. I'm robbers in the body of Christ. I'm robbers. Come and pay a thousand dollars. Come and honor your papa. Come and bless your papa. Come and pay a hundred dollar. I, I hear it prophetically. The Lord spoke to me prophetically. The Lord said, I should give you a prophetic instruction that you pay a thousand dollars, that you pay a hundred dollars. All these things are deceive, deceptive ways. They are the charlatans. We are talking to you to run away from them. They are the armed robbers in the body of Christ. The armed robbers, they are interested in sucking what you have. They are not interested in helping you gain salvation. They will never speak to you about salvation, about eternity. They will never preach to you to prepare for eternity. No more ho ho, so so and so. No more delay. No more days. No more stagnation. Heaven is releasing your blessing. God has remembered you with God. Why are you yourself? You know you don't have relationship with God. And when they finish, they will come and tell you, come and bless. Come and visit the altar. Come and visit the altar. A sinner. Let me tell you. A prostitute. God doesn't need your tithe. God doesn't need your offering. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Medra. God doesn't need your money. Let me tell you. You give to your pastor, he will eat it. God doesn't need your offering. God doesn't need, he only needs your soul. He only needs you to surrender to him. He only needs you to take him as your Lord and your Savior. That is all. He doesn't need your money. God doesn't need your money. What is God using your money for? Does God buy with money? Does God buy with money? God doesn't buy with money. God don't need your pesua, your, your thousand. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. He only needs you to repent. He only needs you to give your life to him. He only needs you to take him as your Lord and Savior. Surrender to him first. So that when you are doing all these deeds, the next this is to visit the poor, the less privileged, the orphans, and the widows. And to live in love. Live in love. God needs your soul. Do you think the devil needs your money? The devil himself even doesn't need your money. Mm -mm. When he studied the book of Job, Job, the devil lay hands on everything around Job. He was not content. He said, oh, give me the body. The Lord said, you can touch the body, but don't touch the soul. Because the soul belongs to me. Who is your soul? Who is the owner of your soul? 
Who is in charge of your soul? Is it God or the devil? Any of you have surrendered your soul indirectly. You've given up your soul indirectly. That is why you worship human beings. You worship human beings. You worship your purpose. You worship your prophet. You worship your prophetess. Instead of worshiping Yahweh, the God of Abraham, the creator of the universe. Instead of you worshiping the God, the ancient God, you worship human beings. The God of so and so. The God of prophet so and so. Uh -uh. Do you know the source of that prophet? You see, that when they're even casting out demons, they don't mention the name of Jesus Christ. They don't mention the name of Jesus Christ. They do not mention. I don't mean your purpose on drugs are going to hell or what. If the person is is connected to God, that person it's not it's not bad to be to be on drugs. But you can't be on drugs and claim you have a healing water for people that are sick. So they should come and buy you healing water. They should come and buy your healing water. Why you yourself, your healing water cannot heal you. That is the deceptive word. You yourself, you have healing water. You have miracle water that can heal, that can melt fibroid. And you are on drugs. Why you don't tell that patient to go and be on drugs? And you are, you are, you are introducing water. Why don't you, you are, why, why is it that your puppets don't drink their waters? Have you seen them drinking some of their waters? Have you seen them taking some of their stickers? The oil they sell to you people. Have you seen them applying on their body? It is only the vulnerable. The vulnerable. That they are using to deceive. When you come here to defend your papa, defend the gospel. If you have energy, you have strength to fight messengers of God, defend the gospel. Worshipping human beings that day, you regret. You will regret for not having personal relationship with your creator. That day, you will regret for not having connection with God himself. Surrender. The book of Joel 13 says, Rent not your garment only, rent your heart. Rent your heart and come to God. Joel chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. Joel chapter 2, verse 12 to 13. The prophet is speaking to the nation. He said, Therefore also now, said the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. And rend your heart, not your garment, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent. Repented him of the evil. Turn to God. Just leave human beings and come to God. Go down your knee and say, Father, I have come to you personally. I want to have an intimacy with you personally. I want to know you personally. So that in my secret room, when I call you, you will hear me. So that in my difficult time, when I cry to you, you will hear me. I have come to you with all my heart and with all my body. I have come. I have come. Just as I am. Just as I am. Lord, I have come. This was the direction the prophet was giving to the nation. When we talk about direction, this is direction. He said, come to God. Rent your heart. Give everything. Surrender. Cry to God. Let God know you have, you have really repented from everything that you have done. Let God know you have regretted from everything that you have done. And he is faithful and merciful. God, to forgive you everything that you have done. He will forgive you. He will forgive you. And he will write your name in the book of life. He will write your name in the book of life. Yes. Have relationship with God though. Hmm. Have personal relationship. That is the message I carry. Personal relationship with God. Your relationship with God really matters. Jesus came to call to seek and to save those that are perishing. He came to look for souls 
Jesus Christ came purposely to call the prostitute. He came to call the alcoholics. He came to call those that are addicted to drugs. He came to call the radicals. He came to call the poor. Jesus came for these people. John, I'm alive. Yes, he came to call them. Luke 5, 32. He said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. I came not to call the righteous people. I came to seek. I call the sinners to come into repentance, to repent, to change, to mend their ways, to stop all what they are doing in the darkness. Now there are some cities in our, in, 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 in our Afri African communities. There are some of the communities when it rains and you oversleep, by the time you wake up, they've taken everything away from your home, including your frogs, including your poultry farm, everything. They will steal everything. This is where the world have got into. Evil and wicked people around. These are the people Jesus Christ is calling. These are the souls he's calling. Do not die as an armed robber. Don't die as a prostitute. Don't die as an extortioner. You extort people. Do not die as a seducer. Seducing people. Seducing people. Do not seduce people's husband to fall. Do not seduce people's wife to fall. Do not influence your fellow man's wife with money just to take him away from her. This is the repentance. This is the message you need. The Ten Commandments, Exodus chapter 20, it said, do not covet your friend's wife, your friend's property, anything that belongs to your friend, do not covet so if you are a lady and you are coveting your fellow woman's husband, you are, you, you are not abiding by the commandment. If you are a man and you are, you, you, you are finding ways and means to take away your fellow man's wife, remember the commandment. If you, if you can't obey it, you can't make it. Mm -mm. You cannot make it. Your friend is traveling. Because you are a best friend to him. Because he trusted in you. Because he has been with you for a long time. He just told you, oh, take over. Just when, when in, in case my wife and my children need something, please assist them for me. Because I'm traveling to abroad. I don't know life in abroad, how the situation is going to be. But please assist them for me. He said, okay. As soon as your friend go, you started sleeping with the wife. You started sleeping with the wife. God will go, uh, he's going to ask you one day. You are going to account for it one day. You are best friend, two ladies. You are best friend, husband. Your best friend, husband. You are the one. You are the one gossiping about your friend to your husband. Just for, your, for, just for her husband to leave her for you. She will leave her for you. She will leave the husband for you. But my sister, at the end, you regret. She will regret. She was going to regret. At the end, she was going to regret. You can use all charm to take away the man. You can use all powers. Go and let them give you dead people's water. People that have died a sudden death, go to the mortuary, let them give to you. Go to the pastors, go and buy. At the end, you regret. That is the truth. That is the painful truth. And then I know many women that use all kinds of things to take their fellow woman's husband. They have regretted. They have regretted. I know many men that use all ways and means to take away their fellow man's wife. They have regretted. They have regretted. Please. Walk in the righteousness of God. Walk in the righteousness of God. Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus Christ loves you so much. Jesus Christ loves you so much. Do not die as a sinner. Do not die as a sinner. He really loves you so much. Don't die in that sin. Do not die in that sin. Please do not die. Do not die in that sin. 
Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Surrender. Surrender to him. Take him as your Lord and Savior. Believe in him. Have faith in God. Stay away from sin. Don't be going around, around about looking, seeking powers. Powers will not take you anywhere. There are many powerful men. There was a powerful man. Powerful man in Ghana history. In the history of Ghana. He was called Konfu Anochi. He commanded a golden stool to come from the sky. When you go to Ghana, when you read the history of Ghana, you hear about Confuanoche. He was the one that was able to even command a golden stool from the sky. He's gone. Confuanoche is gone. There was a powerful man in the history of Ghana, the Ashantis. He was able to fight with the death, with death. The spirit of death, human being, oh, to fight with this death. That man didn't die. When you go to the history of Ghana, there is a museum. There he is dead. He couldn't die. The body is dead, but the eye is still alive. People go and watch him. When you come to Ghana one day, and I am in Ghana, I will take you to the museum to go, just to go and watch it yourself. They were so powerful. They are gone. They are gone. They are gone. So it doesn't matter your power. One day you're gone. You go, you leave it, you will die. Our Papa TB Joshua, he was all powerful. He's gone. He's gone. It is appointed for a man to die once. After death, the remaining is judgment. After death, the remaining is judgment. It's for your deeds. So we shall appear before the throne and we are going to receive according to our deeds what we are doing with this flesh what we are doing with our body we are going to receive that is the message for you that is the message for you so those of you that has been implanting charm in your working place charm in the compound charm on people's plot of land charm on so many places please this charm cannot save you those of you that are putting your trust in, in rings. Those of you that are putting your, your trust in chains in your neck. Your neck. One day, the, the, the power in that chain will expire. The power in that necklace around your neck. That you think you don't need God. That you think this is all powerful. You don't need any protection from God. One day, the power will expire. Because there is an expiry date for everything on earth. When you take your tomato paste, you see the expiry date? When the tomato paste is piled and you eat, you, you, you get a chronic disease. When even the most beautiful or the most sweetest wine, an expensive wine, the expiry date they put on it, after that date and you begin to take it, you can get a chronic problem. The same thing applies to anything made from the, by the hand of a man. It will expire. Anything that is not natural will expire. That is why we have so many of our, our celebrities now. They are indoor. They are like animals. Sorry for my word. They are like animals. They have moved from the status. They have, people can't even identify them. People can't even identify. Oh, so are you so so and so actor? Are you the social so actress that I used to watch on the television? You can't identify because they try to miss, to, 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 to just uh, 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 package or upgrade what God has created. And the side effects, when the expiry day started coming, they couldn't withstand. They couldn't withstand. They could not withstand. The word of God says your body is the temple of God. Treat your body like you're cleaning the church of God. Treat your body like an usher arranging, arranging the church, the, the chairs in the church, like an usher putting things in order, like a Levite putting things in order in the body, in the church. To invite the Holy Spirit, take grudges from your heart. No time to keep grudges. Forgive one another. When somebody offends you, let it go. You know, I am the kind of person I used to be so aggressive. Those days, I was so aggressive. That is what took me to three times in, 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 in to, for me to be arrested. I was so aggressive. Because when you dare me, I think like fighting with you with all my strength. Anywhere I meet you, I get angry. 
Do you know how I, I, I overcome it? When the Lord told me, you know, you cannot enter my kingdom with this thing. Anytime I'm angry, I just find eyes, eyes broke. Either, either I get a seven up or a Coca-Cola, I fill it with much ice broke. And I sit there. As my body is shaking, I sip it. I sip it. I sip it. I sip it. I will never talk. Because when I'm angry and I begin to talk, the ways that I will release to you, nobody will tell you to come and arrest me. Those days, when I'm angry and I begin to talk, I will speak ways that nobody will tell you to come and arrest me. So gradually, 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 I overcome it. I overcome it. Don't let that anger take you to prison. Don't let that anger take you to your airy grave. Don't let that anger, don't die with that anger. No. Work on it. Work on it. Tonight we are going to pray concerning garment, not physical garment, spiritual garment. Tonight that is the prayers that we are going to cry to God to change the garment comment on us because many of us physically we are not prostitution we are not into prostitution but we are wearing the garment of prostitute in dreams many people physically they are not filthy they don't wear dirty clothes but spiritually they are with dirty garment this is the prayers that we are going to cry to god tonight you can join us live on zoom and live on youtube you can send me message for the time depending on your location I will paste it again. I will share it on our timeline again. The time and your location. The time and your location. The time for starting. Either you join us on Zoom or you join us on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. YouTube, when you go to YouTube, you search Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. Precious Appear Gifting ministry precious appear gifting ministry please our foundation also we need your help if you can give us a bag of rice you can give us a bottle of oil you can give 10 you can give 20 that is the details that is pinned there mommy precious hand of care foundation we go to the villages to buy to to deliver so many items if it is a second hand clothing that is new that is neat that you don't like it please let us have it there are people there they need it there are people that they need it. If it is second-hand shoes that you don't like it, please do not throw it away. Second-hand bags, anything that you don't like, somebody like it. Somebody like it in the village. Please deliver to our foundation and we will go and, and supply it to them. God bless you. If it is a cup of salt that you can give as a gift to people, to the orphans, to the widows, if it is a, a straight dress, if it is a shoe, if it is 10, if it is 20, please, the number is plus 233-544-947273. Whatever you are, it is cash up. Any cash up that you use, cash up, cash up. The number is plus 233-544-947273. Three, press two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. If you are in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, you take our impasa number. Impasa number is press two five seven two 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 seven five zero four zero. The name on it is Apostle Ken. Apostle Ken. Apostle Ken. Press two five seven two two two. 75040 that is our foundation in Kenya, Tanzania and Rwanda and Uganda. That is uh, we have foundation there that we we help the the widows, the the orphans and the less privileged in villages. You know, we we where we came from so we can't go to the city. We know the life there. People in the city they have so many advantage. Those in the rural areas, no advantage. No advantage. Nothing. Nothing. We, we went and donated to one of the villages and they put the prayer that we should, we should assist them with bags of cement. Bags of cement and iron rods to maintain the school there. That we are still working on it. If God blesses you, please remember our foundation. Even if it is 10, God knows that is what you have to give to the poor. Let us have it. We are gathering it. If you get the fund, if you get the 50 bars of cement, we we'll donate it and we we'll produce the pictures. You know, my team, when they went, they couldn't take good pictures. 
they couldn't take good pictures but you know many of them also they didn't like it they didn't like the pictures but i i, I have to go myself to explain to them that the reason why we take pictures is not to expose them or to to even sell them out but to let people know that really what they have been giving to us we have been giving to them we don't take it that is why we take pictures and we take videos we we can work and get we there are so many advantage for us but them even where to go how to even get a job is difficult many of them in the village there is no light no light no light no light these are the people that we you know they are so dear to our heart they are so dear to our heart let the life of these people matters you a lot even if you don't have money and you have second hand clothing let us have it if you have shoes let us have it your children's clothing please don't do not throw it away if your children you gather it do not throw it away wherever you are you pay for the shipping we are going to pay for the shipping we need it for them so many villages more than so many many villages we need to go and visit them and god will really bless you god will really bless you my whatsapp number is plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three if you need any inquiries or you want to speak to me that is my whatsapp number tonight we are going for prayers join the prayers join the prayers and your life will never be the same shalom uh bye